Hey, what's up again, YouTube? We are back. We are back again doing some Idea Maker goodness. Uh, this is the third installment of Idea Maker video stuff, or fourth. It is the fourth, actually. Uh, we're going to talk about something that is actually a pretty neat feature. Uh, again, I keep showing you guys neat features. Uh, this one is um, kind of kind of cool. So let's take a look at the infill here. So this is just a regular print. I just used uh, my stock uh, PLA profile here, uh, even though I would never use PLA to print anything. And we can just kind of take a look at the infill. And it's set to 5% infill. And as you can see, it's just doing its infill thing, you know, 5% from start to finish. Nothing fancy. But let's go back and slice this and use adaptive infill. So we'll go to our profile, we'll go to infill, and we'll check adaptive infill. So adaptive infill is interesting. So what it's going to do is it's going to change the amount of infill before it needs to use more infill. So it just kind of looks at the object and goes, okay, there's going to be a area where I need to put a layer of uh, solid infill. So it's going to increase the amount of infill needed to support that better. Instead of having things just kind of bridge over a large gap, it's going to cover that. And you can adjust that range. So if you want to do 5 to 30% or 5 to you know 80% or you know 50 to 100, whatever you want to do, you can change it. So let's look at 5 to 30. And that's already enough to show us a difference. And then this is the number of uh, layers of that infill before it will change the density again. And then you've got some horizontal expansion, which I wouldn't change. And the minimal width is three millimeters. So again, it's not changing in like small gaps. I'm actually gonna lower that in this one. Let's try two millimeters. We'll hit save and we'll hit slice. And you're gonna see a big difference here. Uh, adaptive infill definitely uh, shows a big change without having to do anything. Uh, so let's scroll through here. As you can see, like right before the top layer starts forming, the density increases and then the top layers start forming. So it's not going over that 5%. Here you can tell that's not 5% infill. But here's some 5% infill for sure. And there's, again, there's a nice dense layer here. So right here, there's a little bit more density. Here's even more density. So it's just kind of going through the model and going, okay, I think I need more density here. I need less density. So again, we're coming to a top layer, so it increases the density to the maximum. You know, in this smaller area, again, we're going to get to a top layer, so it increases the density, so it has something to work off of. This is actually pretty cool, because I have a lot of issues, um, you know, because you want to use as little infill as possible, but if it can increase that infill before it gets to a solid layer, you have less of a chance of pillowing, less of a chance of sagging, uh, you know, top layers. Uh, so this is actually a really handy feature that if you go through, you could solve a lot of little issues with your prints, so... Uh, just thought I'd share this with everyone. Adaptive infill, really cool feature in Idea Maker. Uh, looks like it could solve a lot of really, really interesting issues that come into form. I mean, this print isn't the hardest print. You know, I think we've all printed ourselves some printer parts, but just seeing that it fills in so much right before a top layer forms. I mean, that's just going to make it much sturdier, much easier to print with. And then this area where it really doesn't need additional infill, it doesn't use it. So, really nice. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be using this more often. I'm definitely going to experiment, and I think you guys should experiment as well and see how this helps you out with your prints, especially this top layer. Again, printing over 8% or 5% infill, trying to draw layers, you can get some issues. But then all of a sudden it's like, haha, here's some heavy, dense infill layers. And that would make that a lot easier to print. So, hope that helps everyone, and stay tuned for more Idea Maker, uh, you know, tips and tricks and how-to videos. Thanks again, and talk to you all soon.